Welcome back to another math tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to simplify fractions. Now simplifying fractions means you take a fraction with a numerator and denominator and you make the numerator and denominator smaller into where they will be equivalent fractions still. So if I were to take a, a pie and break it to 24 pieces and take out 20 of them my equivalent fraction, it would be the same size of the pie that I was breaking up. So there's a couple steps that I do. Um, there's other steps you may know how to do as well, but I find with this one, you'll always get the right most simplified fraction. Okay, so the first step right here we're going to work on is make a factor tree and a prime factor expression. Okay, so that's what we're going to do right now. And you might think, well, I don't know what those words mean. I'll show you and it really is not that as complicated as, as you may be fearing. Okay, so I'm going to make a factor tree with the um, numerator and the denominator. So I'm going to bring my 20 right over here. And when I make a factor tree, I'm basically figuring out what numbers multiply to make 20. And I'm, start, I'm just going to do some division. And I know that 20 is even, so I'm going to divide by 2 first. Okay, and what do I multiply um, 2 by in order to get 20? And it's 10. So I'm going to have 20 by, or sorry, 2 times 10. Okay. And the reason why I made this red, uh, or this 2 a, a red number, because it's a prime number. It's a number that can only be multiplied by itself and 1. And I can't divide that into anything else. So what two numbers can I um, use to multiply, or that can I multiply together to get 10? Well, again, I'm, I'm doing some basic um, division here. And it's 2 and... It's also 5. Okay? 2 times 5 equals 10. And what you'll notice about all of these is all of these are red because they are all they are all prime numbers. Now you might say, well, can't I when I'm doing 20, can't I go 4 and 5? And yes, you can. And what'll happen is as Every time you keep breaking a number down, you'll end up, no matter how, how you get there, you'll always end up with only prime numbers. And you'll still end up with 2, 2, and 5. So it says make a prime factor expression. Well, my prime factor expression is I make a multiplication expression with my prime numbers. 2, 2, and 5. So 20 is the same as 2 times 2 times 5. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing with number 24. Okay, I'm going to bring it over here now. I'm going to make a prime number, um, a prime number factorization with 20 and uh, 24. So first off, I'm just going to multiply, since I know it's even, 2 times 12. Because I know 2 times 12 equals 24. I like to start with like my smallest, my twos, because I know two is a prime number. Okay, so two times twelve is twenty-four. Okay, now the reason why this twelve is still black is because twelve isn't a prime number. I can still break that down into other numbers. Okay, so twelve can become two times 6. And I'm still not even done. Okay. Because I know that 6 can be broken into 2 times 3. So I come right here. And 2 is a prime number, so it's going to be red. And 3 is a prime number, so it's going to be red too. Now, I can't break these numbers down or divide any of these numbers by anything else. Okay, so I have 2, 2, 2, and 3. I'm going to make myself a prime number factor, is, um, factor, prime factor expression. Okay, 
2 times 2 times 3 times 2. Well, now I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to cross out the numbers on the top and the bottom, which are the same. Okay, so I have a 2 on the top, and I have a 2 on the bottom. I'm going to cross them out. I have another 2 on the top, and another 2 on the bottom. Well, I'm going to cross that one out, too. Okay. Now, what happens is I... Even though I have a 2 down here and some 2's up here, I can't go crossing this 2 out right here. Okay? For every one you cross out on the, on the top, you have to cross that one out on the bottom as well. Okay? So I can't cross this 2 out because there's no other 2 up here to match up with it. Okay? And now I come down here. Multiply the remaining numbers from the numerator for the numerator and denominator. So 5 and, well, there's only 5 left. So my numerator is going to be 5. And then what do I have left on the bottom? 3 times 2, so that's going to be 6. Okay, 5 moves over here. 3 times 2 is my 6. So my prime factorization um, gave me a series of numbers. And when I crossed out the top and the bottom ones that matched up, my equivalent fraction is 5, 6. And that's the smallest fraction. I can't break that one down anymore okay now sometimes you could say well can't I just divide the top and the bottom by the same number and you can but what if I divide the top and the bottom by 2 well 20 divided by 2 would be 10 and 24 divided by 2 would be 12 and that's not the smallest fraction if you want to get the most simplified fraction with the smallest numbers in the numerator and denominator that are still equivalent make a factor tree do our prime factor expressions, cross out the ones that are similar, that are the same, and multiply the other ones.